What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free and all reading for sign of Capricorn. This is Oracle card reading for September of 2022. <clears throat> this could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Mid, Haven, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Uh, free general collective reading. Oracle card reading for a sign of caps. This, uh, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, type this is row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. I do have another channel called Hashtag Leo Gang with the, with the exclamation point. Um, if anybody wants to check that out as well. Um, I did uh, receive one channeling as I was meditating on your September of 2022's energy Capricorn. Um, uh, all I heard was Aries. That's all I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. So I think some of you guys is dealing with an Aries or you're about to be dealing with an Aries. You plug it in how it resonates. And I heard it kind of loud, like Aries. So, I feel that could be a good, loud, or a bad loud. Spirit messages, you have sonic caps. It could be a mask or from Aries. They could have Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Mid, Haven, Jupiter charts. You have Lizard and Swan. So, Fire Sign and Air Sign Energy. Um... For some, I feel you'd be dealing with fire sign or air sign energy. For some, I think you're definitely dealing with an Aries, for sure, for sure. But um, if you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they've been having Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you, Capricorn. Spare messages, you have sonic caps. Number 44 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 44, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 44. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Growth. Huge manifestation coming <clears throat> for a Capricorn. Huge. Huge manifestation coming for Capricorn. Huge. So, congratulations. High vibrational Capricorn. High vibrational Capricorn. So, huge uh, manifestation coming for a high vibrational Capricorn. So, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, the growth in this aspect is the huge manifestation. So, growth. Um, huge manifestory period. Now, you know, you can manifest many things. You can manifest connections, money, um, Romantic connections, um, um, opportunities, etc., 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 and you can manifest in a positive manner or a negative manner. So, whoever this is for, it's a huge manifestory period. It sounds like coming up for you, but hopefully, you're allowing positive things into your life and not negative things because you can manifest a lot of negative, um, and it could turn out bad for you. But whoever this is for, I don't feel it is because I heard you're high vibing. Capricorn. So um, that's beautiful, um, whoever that's for. A baby bump is significant. A baby bump is significant. And a baby bump is significant. So some kind of baby bump energy. Um, 
that it could be you pregnant, somebody you're connected to pregnant, you could impregnate somebody. Um, a baby bump is significant, so some kind of pregnancy, whether it's you that's impregnated or somebody else is impregnated or you impregnated this person, you plug it in, how it resonates, Caps. Blizzard. Receipts from a hotel is about to be very significant in a Capricorn's life as well. Receipts from a hotel is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life as well. Blizzard. One is about to completely redo a room. One is about to move in with a roommate. Okay, one of you guys is about to completely redo a room, and one of you guys is about to move in with a roommate. So the lizard in this aspect, for some, I feel like it could be a fire sign roommate, or a, I mean, a fire sign renter um, is what I'm feeling. A fire sign renter, possibly, if you're moving in as somebody's roommate, or um, uh, redoing a room, maybe a fire sign's helping you redo a room, possibly, because you got fire sign energy. But lizards are like shape, shape shifters. They're like shape shifters. So redoing a room and moving in with the um, moving into a rented space and becoming someone's roommate, I feel is like um, the lizard energy here. You're taking on the lizard energy here, and you are shape shifting yourself to redo this room, revamp this room, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera for some, and for some shape-shifting yourself to acclimate to your renter's policies and procedures and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, wherever you're about to rent from, um, whoever you're about to rent from, um, how that resonates and applies. So shape-shifting yourself to acclimate to the new policies, procedures, rules of the renter, um, whatever they are in the agreement. I'm assuming it'll be a signed agreement, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, and, um, shape-shifting yourself to revamp this room. Now, whether you get help to revamp this room or not, I'm not sure. Swan. For some, I feel you could be a contractor revamping something, like, re um, renovating. Maybe you're a contractor renovating. I didn't hear you were, but I feel for some, you might be a contractor, um, contracting to renovate a space for somebody possibly and um you shape-shifting yourself to deal with the, the people dealing with their personalities dealing with uh, their demands etc 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 swan for one you are about to turn into a lovely swan glow up for one, you're about to see someone turn into a lovely swan. They already are, but they are about to have a huge glow up. Whoa, glow up energy, Capricorn. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful. So that could be the growth too. Hashtag glow up energy. So for some, you are about to have your glow up. For some, you're about to see somebody. I heard they're already a swan. Um, so they're already beautiful on the inside and the outside, but they're about to have a major glow up too. So I think you're about to see a lot of aesthetic differences on them. Um, the one that's already a swan, it's not you, it's somebody you know, um, or somebody your past, but um, you're about to see a lot of aesthetic differences on them, and apparently it's going to benefit them in a positive way. For one, you're about to experience the glow up uh, swan energy, just saying to say it. Um, I love the swan energy because, and I've said it in many of my readings, but I'll say it again. Reminds me of like when you're a kid and you're like the ugly duckling and then you grow up and become the swan. You were bullied, harassed, targeted, and gang stalked or what have you, what have you. Picked on, picked on, picked on as a kid. You were the ugly duckling. You were the odd one out. You always got picked on and then you end up becoming the swan as an adult. That's what this reminds me of. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. It's really beautiful. Scissors, disappointment in some affair.
There is about to be a huge change in a Capricorn's life. Huge change. Some custody change. Some. Some. Moving to another country. Some housing situation change. There's about to be a huge change in a Capricorn's life. For some of you guys, a custody change. Some a moving to a different country. And for some, a housing situation change. So um, you have disappointment in some affairs. So I think for some of you guys, this is going to disappoint you. Whether you're moving to a different country. It could be you moving to a different country or somebody, another Capricorn moving to a different country. Um, it could be you moving in housing situation and you're disappointed in this. Maybe you don't get along with your renter or other roommates or what have you, what have you, um, or another Capricorn or, um, what was it? Um, country, um, moving countries, housing situation change. And, um, there was another one. Custody change, custody change. There's about to be a custody change. So either you're um, you're disappointed with this custody change, or another Capricorn is um, disappointed with some kind of custody change. Some kind of custody change energy coming soon. Uh, moving a, to a different country for at least one Capricorn custody change. I think of children, obviously, child or children, minor energy and um, housing situation switch. So you plug it in how it resonates, but. I think for some, you're going to be disappointed in this. For some, it could be somebody else you're connected to that's disappointed in this. You plug it in how it resonates. Capricorn. For some, you're going to be very disappointed in, in this at first, but you're going to realize it's the best thing to ever happen to you. Because for one, <clears throat> for one, <clears throat> excuse me, for one, your parent is caught up in one, one of your parents is caught up in very, very, very illegal criminal things and they're about to be exposed. Jail. Criminal issues. You're going to realize it's the best thing that ever happened to you. Oh my Lord. Okay, so for one, your parent is caught up in some kind of criminal activities, Capricorn, whoever you are, um, if that resonates for you. Um, you're, it sounds like for some, you're going to be disappointed either in the housing switch situation, the custody switch situation, or the moving to a different country situation for some. For some, it could be another Capricorn connected to you, plug it in, how it resonates. But however that resonates, for at least one of you guys, you're not... You're going to be disappointed in this if you if that does resonate with you and you're going to be disappointed in any of those things. You'd be disappointed in one of these things, two or two plus of these things, what have you, what have you. But, because only you know you're sorting out anybody else. But, um, you being disappointed is actually, I heard it's actually going to end up benefiting you. These huge life-altering power moment SI energy is going to end up benefiting you. You don't, you don't see it now. It's like hindsight is 2020, but you will because <clears throat> for one, one of your parents is caught up in some kind of something very, very criminal and legal, very criminal and illegal. And apparently it sounds like they're under investigation or they will be under investigation. And, um, I heard they will be in jail and huge, heavy criminal legal issues there. So, um, it doesn't sound like they're in jail yet, but it sounds like they will be soon. So, it's like hindsight is twenty twenty. You're going to be disappointed about some of these things, but I heard it's going to end up being the best thing ever happened to you. Um, so that could be the growth too, getting out of toxicity. Well, for a lot of you guys, you don't even realize you're around toxicity, but you are, if that resonates for you. And that could be the shape shifting too. Shape shifting. For one, you're about to learn serious information soon through many shocking series of chain of events. CPS heavy involvement for one. For one, you're about to learn serious information soon through many shocking series of chain of events. CPS involvement for one. So CPS is Child Protective Services for anybody who doesn't know. So for one of the, one of you guys, Capricorns, um, 
You're about to learn some serious information soon um, through many shocking series of chain of events. I heard CPS involvement, so Child Protective Service involvement. So um, I think that's about to enlighten and open your eyes. And for some, that could turn you into the swan, being enlightened of all this information to get you out of some kind of toxicity. One of you guys is in toxicity and you don't even realize you are. And I'm serious about that. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. Advice from a friend. A friend. An older Capricorn. 40 and above, feminine energy, is about to find out her husband is cheating on her. About you, you did not know this before. There is one in here that has already known their husband's been cheating on them for many years. You do not know this. You're about to find this out. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So apparently there's an older Capricorn femme, 40 and above, that I, I think she's been watching me for a hot minute, I'm presuming. Um, she's known her husband's been cheating on her for years, I heard. Holy shit. But whoever you are, you don't know your husband's cheating on you. And you're 40 and above and you're a Capricorn femme. So you're not the one that knows her husband's been cheating on her for years, ma'am. You have no clue your husband's been cheating on you. Oh my God, that's so juicy. But I heard um, you're about to find this out soon. And uh, I think you're about to find it out from a friend. And I think a true friend, I don't think no friend of me energy that's, gonna, that's stabbing your ass in the back. I think she, she, he or she's about to be real with you. Um, I think this person really respects you as a person. And they are about to tell you is what I think, um, which is good. You want people in your life that respect you. Absolutely. Um, but I don't get the whole the one that's apparently been watching my readings for a hot minute that knows her husband's been cheating on her. I don't get that shit. That's why I've been legally single for so long because you cheat on my ass. I'm getting a divorce just like I did me and my ex-husband. And that's just the truth. Nay, nay. It is about to piss you off in a huge way. You're not going to take this bullshit. It's about to piss you off in a huge way. And you're, you're not going to take this bullshit. So it's going to piss you off. You're about to find out about your husband cheating on you, which absolutely, ma'am, not, and you're not the one that's known her husband's been cheating on her for a hot ass minute. You're a different, ma'am. Um, and I, and you're 40 and above and you're, you have cats in your chart, but I heard you're not going to take the bullshit and you're going to do something about it. So I think a friend's about to tell you is what I think. I think it's going to cause growth in you, change in you with the shape-shifting energy. I think for whoever this is for, I think that's what's about to cause you to become swan. Because you're about to realize the false mask of your husband's about to come off. So this is a, a heterosexual relationship. You plug it in, how it resonates. I heard you're going to do something about it. And that could be the disappointment in some affair too. Finding out your husband's cheating on you. Um, I don't get this per person over here. Uh, I think she's been watching me a hot ass minute. She knows her husband's been cheating on her. Divorce. There is a thing called divorce. Lord have mercy. For one, you're going to get evidence, and you're going to take his ass to the court of law. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, my God. I heard, for one, you're going to get evidence. There's Well, there's three. This person, I, I don't get this person. They know. I, I don't, this person don't count. But there's two of y'all. One, you're going to get evidence. One, you may, uh, you may not, but I, this, the other one, it doesn't sound like you're going to. But one, you're going to get evidence, some kind of evidence. Um, I don't know if this is video camera evidence, voice recordings, voicemails, um, text messages, group chats, sexy photos at the bar, um, uh, private PI investigative energy or something like that. But how that resonates, you are going to get evidence for one. That could be the advice from a friend. Uh, maybe um, they're going to tell you to hire a PI or to... Um, or they send you the evidence if they have the evidence. Um, heavy friend energy in here. True, loyal friend energy, not frenemy energy. But how that resonates, um, I heard, um, for one, you're going to receive evidence. And I heard you're going to take it to the court of law and you're going to divorce his ass. And that's exactly what the hell I do. And I'm, I'm just being serious. 
Absolutely, man. A home that is being renovated is very significant, about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. And a home that is about to be renovated is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. A home that is being renovated is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. And a home that is about to be renovated is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So home renovation energy, whether it's being renovated now or it's about to be renovated. You plug it in how it resonates. And for one Capricorn, you are about to learn very important information. For one on your about your father from someone you would have never expected. It's about to make you see your father in a completely different way. Not a good way. Evidence. Oh, this is terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for one, you have a very low vibrational father. I'll tell you that. Um, you're about to learn whoever that's for. Um, I think that's about to cause growth in you too, Capricorn. Um, you're about to grow and realize, I heard evidence. So it's something you cannot refute. It is something in the, uh, in the world, in the energetic space, you cannot refute. Some kind of cold hard evidence. For one, you're about to learn it from someone you would have never expected, and it's your father. So I feel this could be a foster father or a biological father, but I feel for a lot of you guys it's biological. But you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it's about to make you see your father in a way you would have never um, seen him in the past. But it's because of this evidence that cannot be refuted in the universe. Um, and I think he's put on this false mask to you all these years or all this time or what have you, what have you. To have you strategically view him in a um, in a good way, but whatever the hell this is, and I didn't hear what it is, but it's something very low vibrational and very terrible, um, you're obviously going to see him in a very negative way. But it's going to, this evidence and this information is about to come from someone you would have never expected. I feel it's a true friend, and that could be the disappointment too about learning this evidence about your father. Um, if that resonates for you. Heavy Father Energy, Capricorn. Holy crap. For one, someone you grew up with has already shocked the hell out of you. For one, they're about to shock the hell out of you in a very positive way. Okay, so um, if that message applies for you, uh, Capricorn, for some of you guys, it's it's someone you grew, it's it's someone you grew up with. Um, how that resonates, it is somebody you grew up with. Now you could have went to school with them, uh, ball with them, community activities with them, religious activities, or what have you, what have you. Um, but it's someone you grew, grew up with, Capricorn. So I've, um, obviously, I feel that was a long time ago for a lot of you guys, but. Um, for one, they've already shocked the hell out of you in a positive way. For one, they're about to shock the hell out of you in a positive way. So um, whoever this person is that you grew up with in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I feel it could be a fire sign or air sign. They could have uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Man, Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. And an illness of a dark spiritual practitioner is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. Water sign, air sign, energy, feminines, and illnesses of a dark, of dark spiritual practitioner energy is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. I heard um, air sign and water sign energies. So for some, you can know one of these people. For some, it could be two or two plus. But I heard air sign and water sign fem energies. They could have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Haver, Jupiter, charts. They are dark spiritual practitioners, meaning they practice hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, um, dark arts, um, 
like the Book of Shadows kind of energy. Um, it sounds like they are about to get ill, Ill, or they already are ill. I heard significant illnesses of these people. So for some, I feel they already could have illnesses. For some, they could start acquiring illnesses. Um, you can know one of these people or two or two plus of them. They have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Hebrew, Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, Capricorn, um, I feel for some, you, you already knew they practice hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, dark arts, what have you, what have you. For some, you might not have known. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you did know. For some, you're about to find this out. For some, you did know. And for some, you're about to find this out. So for some, you did know they practice dark arts. But you're about to see it manifest in them in the form of medical illnesses or mental health Ill illnesses or both. For one, you didn't know. And you're about to find it out. So, uh, and you're about to see it manifest in either medical illnesses, mental health illnesses, or both. You plug it in, how it resonates. However that resonates, okay? They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius, their Femme energies, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you, Cass. All right, you guys. Well, we are done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Namaste.